Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'd like to show you a super fantastic tray icon to control uh, Pulse Audio. It's called Pazis Tray. Now, I don't know the pronouns, so I mean P-A-S-Y-S Tray. So I, I'm going to call it Pazis Tray. And it's great because you can... Uh, now, by the way, I'm going to show you all the how, how I use it. And basically, you can control everything. If you use Pavu Control, you know, to control Pulse Audio, it's basically Pavu Control, but on the on, with a tray, as a tray icon, you know. So here it is. You know, you have the default server, default sync, which, as you can see here, I have my graphic card as HDMI, and then the analog stereo. And by the way, this for me is super useful because I have um, a monitor in a room and uh, the television in another room, you know, and the computer is attached basically on two different rooms. And it's great because this way I can manage basically the, the audio and I can do everything just with the mouse, you know, just using this tray icon. As you can see here, you can hear all in my voice but now I'm going to turn on uh, the uh, Insurgency Audio and uh, if you go on playback streams as you can see, by the way, now it's uh, Insurgency is record, it's recognized as Portal, you know but it's Insurgency actually and as you can see here, you can select where to put the playback stream for example, if I want to play on my television, I will select the HD, HDMI uh, out. Or if I want to play in my computer room, let's say, I want to select this option here. As you can see, it's selected and everything, but there is no sound because it's mute. Every time you uh, hover your mouse over a, uh, an output you know or a stream in this case as you can see there is this nice window with all the the default I mean the properties and all the volumes and everything now it's written very you know it's not so big it's very small but in the middle you know you can see like th there is the volume and there is also mute and now it's it says yes because it's mute so if you if you go here with the mouse and you press like your middle mouse button like this you can just unmute it and probably you are hearing right now I see something here I don't hear anything it's just strange all right yeah because I had my volume off or uh, turn low so I can hear it right now as you can see here it's recording and the other great thing that you can do with the mouse wheel if you check the volume now it's 70 you know you can just go and control so the volume yeah it's a bit you know all right basically it's better if there is no this part and then yeah like like now just click on the on the stream and then you can control the the volume as you can see now it's 60 58 56 50 as you can see the volume is turning down using the mouse wheel yeah it's not you have to maybe click here and there just to, so that you get the correct uh, input I mean the your mouse go to the to the selected stream and now I'm turning the volume up and by the way you can go also above 100 now I'm 110 as you can see 120 I can just mute as you can see now it says mute yes and mute no even if it says here mute I mean I don't know why is that but anyway it works now let me turn down to 70 again alright and by the way you can also launch a few other Pulse Audio softwares just Pavu Control for example you can just launch it straight from the tray, you know, and here you have all the 
I mean, all the other configuration available with Pulse Audio. As you can see right now, there is uh, OBS as recording, you know, and it's great because also in here, not here, also in here you have the, the icons and everything, and by the way, the window with all the specification and information. So you can also control the the volume from here. This is basically, as I said, it's power control, but from the tray, you know. So let me just mute again this one. All right, it's mute. And let me launch, let me actually play a random video from YouTube. Oh, look, <laughs> totally random, this documentary, Century of Slayman, the history of the Federal Reserve. In the end, the money you can trust see now probably the is, uses the public's running. own outrage yeah. against them As you can see to complete here. their consolidation of control over and the by banking the way, system. The newly retitled Federal Reserve Act is signed into law in December 20... You can just mute. As I said before, just go to the stream, mute, and uh, unmute. And control, by the way, the volume also. Yeah, right now it's so how going does the Federal Reserve System work? Down, it's 50% or go up to 100. These are the basic questions that would get to the heart of the fundamental question, what is money? And that and by is the way, the I show you before, just select the, impenetrable economic the, the output. For example, as I say, if I want to go to the other room, I just select the HDMI, my video uh, graphic card, and I, will, I can watch the, the, the documentary in this case on the other room. Now let me just go back to built-in analog stereo. Centralized national authority through the Board of Governors, remember that on the map, with a help. And that's about it. Actually, you can, by the way, select the default source here, and you can also mo move all outputs here, because Pulse Audio tends to remember all your settings. So for example, I also I always play insurgency mute and I listen to music or listen to some podcast, you know. So anytime I turn on uh, insurgency and they play insurgency, it's always mute. So it's great because it remembers basically all the all your settings, you know. And by the way, there are some other stuff here, such as actually I will show you. So Pac-Man. Q, I, I, and the pass is tray. You can also install PAMAN, PAVIOMETER, PAP, PREP, PAP, PREPS, actually, to have also all uh, these other, like the volume meter for the playback, you know, or the volume meter for the recording. You can, by the way, also select the Oops. You can uh, somehow select the, the 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 recording stream here, you know. So as you can see now it's it's on the correct uh input. And that's it. There are you know many tray icons, but in my opinion this with pulse audio just it has everything, you know. If you love Pavu control you're going to like a lot this tray icon because as i said it's power control but on the tray so you know you can just do everything with the mouse and uh, you know i was for example using my smartphone as a mouse you know the touch screen and uh, i needed a tray icon and i found this one which by the way it's available on arch linux on the hour you know you have to compile it and man it's fantastic it has everything everything that Pulse Audio has, but on the tray icon. I mean, on the tray. All right, that's it. Hope it was helpful. Try it out. Let me know if you like it. And uh, as I said, if you have many monitors, you know, in different rooms, this is probably the application that you want to try. Yeah, to save uh, a headache, you know. All right, that's it.
hope it was helpful and see you in the next time guys bye bye